friends and welcome to December daily day 15. Today is another work day so I really literally thought that I am just going to document what is going on in the work day and I decided that I would actually document what I've been wearing as an outfit. Um, basically in this new era or phase of life of me being a corporate girl, however you may spell it. So I did take this selfie in the elevator today because I was just like suited up with a blazer. I was wearing like work pants and high heels and everything. Um, they are kitty heels, but they're still heels. And it's just so different from my previous jobs because I feel that as a journalist, people actually really do give us a lot of slack in terms of the way we dress. But at the same time, I used to cover a lot of people in the corporate industry. So when I am meeting like the big people like big shots or big potatoes as people in Hong Kong like to call them, I actually do dress up in like pants and a blazer but because i didn't used to wear them every day or i wouldn't have these like really big shot meetings every day i could get away with using kind of like the same two three sets of blazer and pants all the time but now that i'm wearing this on a daily basis um not so much the blazer change but i guess a little bit i now need more than just two pairs of pants and also like two sets of blazers so i thought that i should go shopping but then I realized like when I was looking through my closet, um, just trying to declutter, which um, that vlog is coming in January because we're doing December daily and I have no time at all to edit vlogs, but I filmed everything. So that's still happening um, coming January, probably mid January, because I actually already have some outdoor sketching videos as well that I've shot and um, they're already scheduled actually for January. Um, anyways, tangent. When I was decluttering my closet, I actually found a bunch of blazers and a bunch of pants that still have their tags on them. So I really thought like, oh, I just saved myself a shopping trip. And I realized like I bought these pants and these blazers like maybe two, three years ago when I was getting ready for my previous job. Because at that time, that job was situated in like a really central business area. So I was like, oh, I gotta like dress the part. And then COVID happened. So I never even took these like pants um, out. I've never even taken the tags out and they are like well past their return date. Or maybe I could return them, I just never checked. So I tried them on and they still fit really well. So I just cut off the tags and that's why I still have the tags right here. And if you see, they're like not even like pristine white, they're kind of scrumpled and stuff and you can see that they've kind of been hiding in my closet for quite some time so i thought that instead of throwing all of these tags away to recycling which i will i mean you know clothes like they don't just come with one tag right like for some reason they need to come with like three tags um i just thought that i would do a little bit of found ephemera journaling and actually stick this in this journal make it a little bit chunky all the time well on the right i wanted to draw myself with this little selfie that i took in the elevator of me just feeling my best corporate self feeling like a total boss girl that's basically the vibe even though the colors are like super muted and normally i would go for like a more popping like navy blue i really like wearing navy blue like navy blue against like white or maybe i could even experiment with like dark green because i really like that color um but they were all in the wash so today i'm wearing gray and so this is why we're sketching because we're sketching scenes from daily life in december which is a kind of other december daily meaning that i'm gonna put on it uh but yeah and then i literally thought of this idea as i was journaling but i thought that i would do that style where the drawing was in the middle and I'm just gonna put like big text on the background for my journaling and so you'll see me scribbling out in a bit and just me thanking my past self for buying all these clothes that actually fit me really well for my workplace and as for what's going on on the page um, in terms of the watercolor style I'm actually really digging this whole lineless but add a little bit of shadow kind of look so when I was adding line work yesterday, um, I literally thought like, oh, I'm just going to do this like Samantha Dion Baker style where she actually does a lot of the line work and the shading as well, like the hatching with her fine liner before she comes in with watercolor. 
But then I also decided like, actually, I kind of like this look, this lineless look. Um, I'm just gonna try and build in some shadow and add some dimension and see how I like it. And turns out I do quite like it this way as well. So maybe I'll just continue to experiment with a few different styles until I really find out what's mine. I think the sucky thing though is that I actually really like using my pen, but I don't like the use of my pen in drawing. So I don't know where to balance that out or if I should just experiment a little bit more with just like pure ink sketches and then a separate watercolor sketch um, because I like, I really like this lineless look. And I guess there's also like no limitations. There's no reason why I can do one and not the other. And that's the fun of journaling. Oh, that's also the fun of sketching and art in general, especially when you're just doing this for yourself and you're not trying to do this for a client or do this for your followers or whatnot. Like you're just having fun and just having a good time. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me here and I'll see you in the next December daily, which will be tomorrow, day 16. Woo! All right, thank you so much for hanging out guys. Bye.